Gentlemen, so a few months ago, I did a video where I went over seven of my affordable faves. I also did a video where I went over seven totally overpriced brands, in my opinion. Some brands that I'm just like, I would never in six million years spend that much on that product. Both of those pieces of Alpha M Gold are listed and linked in the description. But today, I thought I'd go over seven luxury brands that I absolutely adore. These brands are ones that, ugh, God, they're expensive, but I'll dig a little deeper into the piggy bank because I love them and I think they're awesome. Please note, this is not in any way, shape, or form a sponsored post, all right? Some of the brands may be familiar, but none of them are paying me to say it today. All right, so here's my rationale on spending a lot of money on a specific product. It really boils down to a per wear cost all right if you buy a leather jacket and it's expensive how often can you wear it like every day through like four or five months a year you're getting a lot of wear and if it's timeless and classic you can wear it for years and years and years so the cost per wear goes down an expensive watch you wear it every single day you can wear it for 20 years but say you go out and you spend two thousand dollars on the most amazing suit you've ever seen right but you don't wear suits maybe once or twice a year you wear the thing for like three years before you outgrow it. You gain a little bit of weight, you get comfortable, all of a sudden you're busting at the seams. You can't wear it, right? You got two wears per year for three years, that's six wears at $2,000. You do the math, it's expensive. This is essentially how I rationalize expensive purchases. Let's dive in. Brand number one is Rolex. My beloved Rolex Milgauss. So I love watches. The brand that I'm absolutely nuts over is actually Rolex. I've loved the Milgauss for so many years. I was finally able to save up enough money in order to grab one, and I did, and I have loved it. But <laughs> once I got this, it was like, well, I just, I couldn't get enough. And so I actually bought a second Rolex. The steel white-faced Daytona. One of the reasons why I love Rolex is because the movement. The other reason is because they retain a lot of their value. Watches are kind of like cars. You buy one, you drive it off the lot, you put it on your wrist, and all of a sudden the value drops. Rolex, eh, it maintains a lot of its value. Are they the best watches out there? No. Are they the most expensive watches out there? No, but they're going to set you back a few Gs. Luxury brand number two is Tanny Underwear. Now, I have talked about Tanny underwear multiple times before. I even did a review, all right? These underwear are the most luxurious underwear you will ever wear. They're made of a micro-modal fabric. Modal is like the best fabric. Well, it's micro-modal, so it's actually even softer, more like... The only way I can describe wearing a pair of tannies is like the first time you put on a fitted or a custom dress shirt. It's going to change your life. Now... I have received some free tanny underwear for some of the reviews that I've done, but I've gone back for more. These things are incredible. Now, are these the only underwear that I own in my underwear cut? No, there's a time and a place. But when I'm getting dressed up, when I want to feel sexy, it's kind of like lingerie, I, but <laughs> not like that. They're sexy, they're comfortable, they're a little more expensive, they start at like 35 bucks, but I'm telling you, once you try them, you'll never want to wear anything else. I'll link to Tanny down in the description along with an old coat that <laughs> still works. Expensive brand, number three, Ted Baker. My Ted Baker Peacoat was one of the best purchases I feel I've ever made. Um, it's just an amazing brand, it's an amazing company, but it is expensive. This jacket was about $600, but the difference in quality between this and some of the other peacoats that I've owned is ridiculous. All the little details, not to mention the fit. It's really hard for a guy who's built like me, kind of athletic, I'm small though, to find really great fitting clothes. And Ted Baker, because it's a uh, product or a brand that's, that's based out of the UK, it is a little bit trimmer. Um, it's going to be expensive, but all of their clothes are incredible in terms of quality, fit, and fabric. Brand number four. My coach leather jacket. This is the one item that I wear in these videos that I get more people saying, dude, where did you get that jacket? And I wish they still made them. They make other ones, but coach for me, they are crushing it in terms of great quality leather jackets. Incredibly high quality, the brass fixtures, the zippers, they make purses, right? Super high end purses. And they also make some men's clothing along with belts and some wallets and bags and stuff like that. All of their stuff is incredibly 
incredibly beautiful, but it's expensive. This jacket was about $900. That being said, I'm going to have it for years. It's timeless, it's classic, so I'm going to be able to wear it not only this year, but next year and like 10 years from now. As it breaks in, it gets better looking, and so the per wear cost is actually kind of low. It can justify anything. I also justified spending $600 on a pair of Santoni monk straps. So I love monk straps. Um, I was in Nordstrom's one day and I've always seen Santoni, but it's like when I saw the price tag at like 600 bucks, I almost vomited. I tried them on and they were the absolute most comfortable shoes I'd ever worn. I usually stick inserts and old sneaker inserts in all of my dress shoes and boots, but the Santonis, I didn't have to. They all also have a rubber sole with a Blake stitch. Since we're talking about shoes, I can't wear sexy ass expensive double monks and have crappy socks. My Fort Belvedere calf high Egyptian cotton stripe socks are absolutely worth the 40 bucks I paid per pair. All right, so check this out. I absolutely love these socks. One of the biggest reasons is because they actually come up and go over your calf so they never actually fall down. And last but certainly not least, number seven, suit supply suits. Here's the deal. I get suits for free through Modern Tailor, but I pay for suit supply, suit supply, suit supply suits. All right, this suit, even though I have it as a luxury item, only cost $400. It's super 120s or 110s. Suit Supply is the best men's store I've ever been in. And if you ever get the opportunity, go in, see what they have. Their stuff is incredible, it's classic. They do have expensive suits, like up to $1,000, but they also have suits for like 400 bucks. All of the brands, all of the products that I show that they still actually make and you can buy, I will list and link down in the description. Unfortunately, a lot of the stuff that I have, they don't make anymore, because I've had it for a year, two years, and they change. But the bottom line is that these items and these brands are ones that I absolutely love. Yes, they're expensive. Yes, they're luxury. Should you go out and spend a lot of money you don't have right now in order to get this stuff? Absolutely not. Debt is horrible. And if you are buying things that you can't afford right now, don't. There are so many amazing, affordable brands thrift stores. Here's a true story. I grew up super poor. I never had a lot of money. If I had $20, I'd go to a thrift store. You can look good and not have to spend a lot of cash. But for those of you who are like, yo, I got a little bit extra coin. I want to buy some really sweet stuff. These brands are ones that I absolutely love. Guys, if you've got a luxury brand that you think is absolutely worth the pricey price tag, list it down in the comment section. I'll check them out. And if they're super sweet, I might actually invest. But gentlemen... <laughs> I don't know. I've gone to, all the stuff that I try and do is like reasonably priced stuff. I talked about, I wanted to do a video where I'm like, yo, here it is. Some of the crazy purchases that I've made. Um, just because if I'm spending my hard earned money on it and it's something that you're interested in or you've got the financial means to do it, I don't know. I thought it'd be okay. But don't overspend.